A big hello and a warm welcome to each and every one of you. You're with me, Pig Brain, here today, and it's a really, really momentous occasion as we pick up yet another season of A Class Apart, the Mrs. YGP Memorial Quiz 2023. Started by the Padmasi Shadri Bal Bhavan group of institutions in the thick of the pandemic, it's a quiz which is a tribute and a celebration of Mrs. YGP's life. A doyen in the field of education, someone who loved children and was very passionate about India. The quiz is a dedication to these youngsters and to tell them more and get them to learn about our country. Over the last couple of seasons, this quiz has grown not just in stature, but also in terms of the level of difficulty. They've all gone through multiple rounds to reach here into the semi-final stage that you are going to witness from here on. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there's a little bit of trivia in this. Mrs. YGP actually wrote her articles during her journalism days under the pen name Rashmi. Well, appropriately enough, our host, who's going to take you through the semi-finals, is Rashmi. Well, the Rashmi we are talking about is an alumnus of NITK Suratkal, and I am Calcutta, and she has, of course, been a prolific host over the last couple of years, be it co-hosting a Tata Crucible with me to her own quiz shows that she has built over the last couple of years. She's the only professional woman quiz host in Asia today and has been hosting the Mrs. YGP quiz with me since its inception. Ladies and gentlemen, to take you through the semi-finals of this season, of this quiz, it's my pleasure and privilege to welcome on stage your host, Miss Rashmi Futado. <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a class apart Mrs. YGP Memorial Quiz, an initiative by the PSBB group of institutions started in her honor. But more than that, this was started for the students of middle school. Mrs. YGP, a great veteran in education from our country, her contributions are many. And if you just read about her, you would know what I'm talking about huge contributions in the field of education as far as our country is concerned. She had a very uh, special affection towards students of middle school. She probably felt that the students of middle school were almost like the second child in a three children equation where they feel a little left out. So she ensured that she gave a lot of opportunities to the students of middle school. And this particular quiz is created in her honor for the students of middle school. So all the children participating in this quiz have been from the classes five, six, and seven. They have gone through prelims, multiple rounds. They have also gone through quarterfinals. And from all of that, they have now qualified to the national semifinals of the Mrs. YGP Memorial Quiz. So let me quickly introduce them to you. This, of course, is the first semi-final, and we have three more to go after this. And by the, by the end of this semi-final, you would know who has qualified into that big finale that's coming up. So let me quickly introduce them to you, and then we'll get started with the semi-final. Joining us from the PSVB Millennium School is Ahana. She seems very high in spirits in taking part in the semi-final. That's good. So let's move on to our second contestant. Joining us from PSBB again is Samanvita. Sanvi is joining us from the PSBB school from Tinagar. And 
And our final contestant of the day completing this lineup for us here today is Ara Arartrika. She, she's joining us from the Alpha CBSC School. All of them joining us from the state of Tamil Nadu. So all of them are from that region. Uh, it's not necessarily something that we have put in place. It was a random order, but it so happens that all of them are from the same state. All right. So girls, if all of you are ready, you're aware of the rules already. Ladies and gentlemen, just for you to know, the scoring pattern today would be plus 50 and minus 50, single attempt per question only. For the first three rounds, the questions would appear on the screen. Like I said, single attempt only. The contestants need to remember that. And only the winner from this semi-final will move into the big finale of a class apart, Mrs. YJP Memorial Quiz. So let's get started. This entire quiz, of course, is on India. I mean, we can't forget that. The entire context of this quiz is India. So let's get started with the first round of this quiz. She is historic. Here we go. All right, five questions in this round. You will have images coming up on your screen. The moment you press your buzzer, you're indicating to me that you already know the answer. So keep that in mind. I will stop reading the question the moment you press your buzzer and then you cannot ask me to complete the question, okay? So you're not allowed to block a question. Now, this is something that we follow, whether it is a ground uh, quiz that we have a physical quiz or a digital quiz. You're not allowed to block a question. So once you press the buzzer, we will stop reading out the question and you will give us the answer. First image, question number one, coming up on your screen. If all of you are ready, we will unlock the buzzers. The buzzers are highly sensitive, girls, so please be very careful. If you press the buzzer, you have to give me the answer. You cannot tell me you pressed the buzzer by mistake, okay? So you will end up getting a negative, so please be very careful. Question number one, coming up on your screen, identify this award. Here we go. It's an award something that is of huge pride for anybody, any citizen of our country. Remember, the context is India. Do not forget, we study about this award. We study about many, many people who have won this award from our country. One of the highest awards. You know, there are many levels when it comes to awards. This is one of the highest ones, high up there in the ranking. Oh, no one trying for this one. Arartrika is trying. Go ahead. Is it Bharat Ratna? Bharat Ratna is absolutely right. Plus 50 on that to Arartrika. Let's move on to the second question coming up on your screen now. Identify this structure that was built by Chandragupta II. The one that you're seeing right in the center there. Oh, taking too long. No one going on the buzzer. Time is up. Girls, you have to be a little faster with your buzzers. These are the things that you learn in your classrooms or you read about India otherwise. This is the iron pillar from the Qutub Minar complex in Delhi. All right. If you read about it, the legend goes that the pillar does not ever rust at all. Okay. So this was actually built by Chandragupta II, and then it is told that it was moved to this particular complex. So let's move on. I'll be a little quicker. Question number three coming up on your screen now. Who was this first woman to be appointed cabinet minister in India after independence? She was actually appointed the first health minister of India in 1947, and then remained in office till about, I think for about 10 years. Oh, no one trying again. Time is up, time is up. Ladies and gentlemen, I have to be very strict on the timing here today. These kids who qualify from this round have, will move into the national finale. 
Uh, Sanvi, I'm sorry, I said time is up already. I cannot, you can answer, but no points. Do you want to try? You won't get any points. Ma'am, is she Amrit Kaur? She is, in fact, Amrit Kaur. If you had pressed the buzzer on time, you would have got those 50 points. All right, Rajkumari Amrit Kaur is the right answer. So let's move on to the next one. Question number four coming up on your screen now. Which great place in India is this? I need a very specific answer, not a location like, you know, Chennai or Bangalore. No, I need a very specific answer. Go ahead, someone with us on the buzzer. Ma'am, it's Abarmati Ashram. Plus 50. Beautiful answer by Saman Vita there. This is the iconic statue that you can see at the Sabarmati Ashram. If you're ever there, you must go visit the place. Good answer by Saman Vita. She gets a plus 50 on that one. So let's move on to the final question of this round coming up on your screen now. Mughal Emperor Humayun was crowned at this fort. It served as the main residence of the rulers of the Mughal dynasty until 1638. Go ahead, Ahana. Ma'am, is this Humayun's tomb? Well, minus 50 on that, Ahana. My first sentence said, Mughal Emperor Humayun was crowned at this fort. A tomb basically means that is where the person was buried. That is what a tomb is all about. Uh, Sanvi, I can't give you the chance. You will not get any points. I said in the very beginning, single attempt question only. This is the Agra fort, okay? The Agra fort is the right answer. The Mughals kept moving their capital for some time in the very beginning until they finally moved back into Delhi. But Agra fort is where Humayun was crowned the uh, emperor. All right, let's move on to the next round of this quiz. She is beautiful. Here we go. All right, you know the drill, contestants. You have five questions coming up on your screen and corresponding questions from me. Good luck. The first question of this round, remember the context. India is the context of this entire quiz. The first question coming up on your screen now. Identify this beautiful venue at which the 2023 G20 New Delhi Summit took place between 9th and 10th September. Name of this venue. It was a huge... Go ahead, Sanvi. You're on the buzzer. Go ahead, unmute yourself. You need to unmute yourself, Sanvi. Ma'am, is it Bharat Mandakam? Could you repeat your answer? Bharat Mandapam. Bharat Mandapam is absolutely right. Sanvi getting plus 50 on that. This was all over the news. We know how G20 was covered in our nation. Pride for our nation. Of course, it would be covered very well. Bharat Mandapam giving Sanvi that plus 50. All right, let's move on to the next one. I think all of them have scored. I'm not really sure. I'll tell you the scores at the end of this round, ladies and gentlemen. Let's move on to the second question of this round. Coming up on your screen now. Identify the largest antelope of Asia, which is present across northern Indian subcontinent. Basically, identify the animal. It's the largest antelope. It is not possible that you wouldn't know this. Sanvi, go ahead. Ma'am, is it Neil Guy? Neil Guy is absolutely right. Sanvi getting another 50 on that. So let's move on. Question number three. This round seems to be moving a little quicker. Question number three coming up on your screen now. Called IWT, this treaty gives control over the beautiful waters of the three eastern rivers, the Beers, Ravi and Sutlej to India, while the control over the waters of the three western rivers, that is Indus, Chenab and Jhelum, is to Pakistan. What is IWT? Or let me put it this way. Sanvi, go ahead. Ma'am, Indus water treatment. Give me a slightly better answer. Your first two words are correct, your last one is not. 
and last one is the last one is the easiest one actually in this okay in this what at 3t plus 50 absolutely right i had to give her a fair chance ladies and gentlemen i would have done that for any of these kids the treaty is right there on the screen and she sort of got that wrong i had to give her a fair chance plus 50 on that to sanvi let's move on to question number 4 coming up on your screen now identify this character created oh sanvi go ahead ma'am chacha choudhary chacha choudhary is absolutely right plus 50 on that sanvi doing well in this round she gets another plus 50 on that one the final question of this round ladies and gentlemen coming up on the screen now the barrier island is a breathtakingly beautiful coastal landform in which narrow strips of sand are parallel to the main land coast which barrier island separates the pulicat lake from the bay of bengal a famous place extremely famous place you will or you should know this place oh no one going on this one a huge achievement or a landmark as far as progress of our country is concerned all right time is up i cannot give them any more time on this question the answer that i was looking for you all are going to feel bad about it is shri hari kota shri hari kota is what i was looking for as an answer i thought that image was an iconic one and you would be able to identify it despite a slightly descriptive question that i had but unfortunately none of them were able to crack it so before we move into the third round of the semi final ladies and gentlemen let's take a quick look at the score we have to know where our finalists stand all right leading this quiz as of now is sanvi uh, and close behind her are both samanvita and aratrika on 50 points each ahana is on minus 50 she hasn't recovered yet but ladies and gentlemen we are just halfway through into the semi final even at this point anyone can win this quiz it is possible ahana just has to make up her mind and move back into the positives and saman with an aratrika can also give a very tough competition to sanvi unless of course she does a chris kale at this semi final so let's see what happens let's move into the next round of the semi final ladies and gentlemen she is inspiring here we go Ladies and gentlemen you have been watching the first semi final of a class apart Mrs YGP Memorial Quiz 2023 this is an initiative by the PSVB group of institutions and like this round uh, Mrs YGP was also an inspiring personality in the field of education and this entire quiz is dedicated to her and to honor her We are halfway through into the semi-final, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for us to move into the third round. The questions will appear on your screen. You will have five questions appearing on your screen, and the corresponding uh, questions from me. Five images on your screen and questions from me. All right. The first one coming up on your screen now. Identify the event in which Avinash Sable won the maiden gold for India at the Asian Games. He won a gold. Which event did he win the gold in? That is what I need from you. Oh, no one trying. Time is up. I thought Asian Games would be something that you all would have followed. Aratrika, I'm sorry. I said time is up. I cannot allow you to give give me an answer at this point. The answer that I was looking for is the three thousand meter steeple chase. That is what I was looking for. Let's move on. to the next question question number 2 coming up on your screen now identify the indian sociologist and social entrepreneur who was the founder of the sulab international huge achievement if you ask me because sanitation and hygiene is something we are way better at now than how we were earlier aratrika go ahead is it bindeshwar patak Bindeshwar Patak is absolutely right. Aratrika getting another fifty on that one. Let's move on to question number three coming up on your screen now. 
identify India's premier nuclear research facility headquartered in Trombe. Nuclear facility, I said. Nuclear research facility, that is. Oh, time is up. No one going on this one. Again, an iconic image on your screen. And all I was, even if you had given me the short form, I would have given you the points. The answer I was looking for, ladies and gentlemen, is the Baba Atomic Research Center. This is something you all study about. Maybe you're not very familiar with the logo on the screen, but that is where uh, such kind of research will help you in events such as quizzes and debates and such events. So you need to go the extra mile and do that research and preparation for yourself. Even if you had told me bark, I would have given you those 50 points. All right, let's move on. Question number four coming up on your screen now. Identify the film chosen as India's official entry for the 96th Academy Award. Go ahead, Ahana. Is this uh, the film 2018? Absolutely right. Good answer by Ahana there. Plus 50. Not too many people are aware of this movie, but yes, it is a good movie. Plus 50 to Ahana. Very good answer by her. Let's move on. The final question of this round coming up on your screen now. He is an Indian chemist who worked mainly in solid state and structural chemistry. Who is he? Solid state and structural chemistry, I said. All right, no one going on this one. The time is up. Well, I think the semi-final has actually been a little tougher. The answer that I was looking for is CNR Rao, a huge name from our country. All right, let's quickly take a look at the score, ladies and gentlemen, before we move on to the last round of this quiz. Scores, okay. Aratrika is on 100 points. Sanvi is holding on to those 200 points that she had uh, that is the point she had even in the earlier round. She was quiet, probably watching on how the game turns out to be. Uh, Samanvita is on 50 points. Ahana has actually made up for that negative and come back to nil. If you ask me, it's a very good place to be. One more round to go, even if Ahana decides to give good answers and right answers for the next entire round, she can still win this quiz. So Sanvi is technically not out of the woods. So let's see what happens. The final round of the semi-final, ladies and gentlemen, a class apart, Mrs. YGP Memorial Quiz 2023. The final round coming up is She is a Class Apart. Here we go. All right, the rules are slightly different in this round. Your scoring pattern remains the same and the single attempt part also remains the same. The only difference is that the questions will not appear on your screen. I will be the one reading out your questions, which also means the moment you press your buzzer, I stop reading the question, okay? So good luck to all of you. I have five questions. So Ahana, keep that in mind. You still have a chance to win this quiz, okay? All right, all of you do. So the first question of this round com uh, coming up, here we go. Who became the first Asian to win the Nobel Prize in 1913. Go ahead. Is it Rabindranath Tagore? Ahana is absolutely right. Rabindranath Tagore is what I was looking for. Rabindranath Tagore is absolutely right. Ahana getting 50 points on that. Let's move on to the second question. Which union territory was merged with Daman and Diu? to form a new union territory in, on 26 January 2020. There's a lot of such changes that happened in the last few years. Go ahead, Samanvita. From Dadra and Nagar Haveli. Plus 50 to you. Absolutely right. Dadra and Nagar Haveli is what I was looking for. All right. Three more questions to go. The last three questions of the semi-final. Question number three, here we go. Which Indian revolutionary and activist wrote the book, 
द इंडियन वॉर ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस अगेन दिस इज अ पर्सन नेम दैट वी कम अक्रॉस इन आर टेक्सट बुक्स दिस इज नॉट समथिंग यू वुडेंट हैव हर्ड ऑफ एट ऑल नेम ऑफ अ पर्सन all right time is up no one going on the buzzer for this one the answer i was looking for is savarkar vd savarkar is what i was looking for i'm sure all of you have certainly heard about him and this is the book that he had written all right the penultimate question of the semi final ladies and gentlemen here we go flagged off by the prime minister narendra modi on 15th february 2019 The first Vande Bharat Express ran between which stations? All of us know the Vande Bharat Express now. <laughs> All right, no one trying on this one. Time is up again. Oh, son, we too late. You press the buzzer too late. I say time is up. You can try, but no points. Go ahead. Ma'am, Varanasi to New Delhi. or new, all i required was play, name of places from which location to which location does not matter to me but new new delhi and varanasi is absolutely right had you pressed the buzzer when you still had the time you would have got a plus 50 on that this is actually the second time this is happening for you in the semi final right all right i will let's get back to that a little later the final question of the semi final ladies and gentlemen here we go which chess prodigy is the youngest international master in indian history go ahead sanvi mam pragnananda pragnananda plus 50 absolutely right pragnananda is what i was looking for all right ladies and gentlemen time for us to take a look at the final tally of the semi final here today the score is coming up okay with 250 points sanvi from psbb t nagar in chennai winning this semi final and moving into the national final of a class apart mrs ygp memorial quiz 2023 ahana on 50 points uh, samanvita and aratrika both on 100 points i do believe that they knew many more answers but were probably unsure and did not go for the buzzer maybe with the fear of negatives but if that happens you will never be able to score and sanvi if you don't press the buzzer on time during the finale it's going to be very difficult for you to win a quiz any quiz not just this one so you have to back yourself and press the buzzer on time well ladies and gentlemen there you go we have identified our first finalist who has now qualified into that big finale of a class apart mrs ygp memorial quiz 2023 You don't go anywhere. I'll be back with the second semi-final of this quiz, and we will identify the next one who will join Sanvi in that big finale. You stay tuned and be right back for the next semi-final. You take care.